Just a real important note about when I do uh, show you how I'm sharpening a knife, it's very, very important that the way I've set this um, grinding machine up that it is actually all grinding machines are made so that the grinding stone uh, is grinding towards you as such, so when you're grinding. But in the case of a knife, for safety reason, I've actually reverted mine around so that the grinding belt or even the grinding stone is actually pulling away from me this way. Okay, just going to start the grind there up now. Now you will notice that I'm actually doing a switch at the back. I've done this on purpose because instead of having the switch in the front here and the lead at the back, I've actually turned this around on my stand so that the, the, uh, the bench grinder is actually pulling away from me. And the reason I've done that so that when we put it on here, instead of this belt pulling backwards, and if it does hook up, it's going to stop the knife from slipping in and stabbing me right in the chest. Okay, so it's very important that if you're going to have one of these setups, to have it pulling away, so that if there is an issue, the knife is just going to go out and fling away from you. But obviously I've got extra lights and that here just for uh, demonstration purpose. Normally I wouldn't have all these lights here, but I need to be able to see the bird that's coming up. So we'll start up the belt. I'm just going to share something with you that uh, how to sharpen knives, okay? Especially for um, household use, about having a burr. Very important to have a burr on your knife when you're sharpening, so that when that burr is so fine and it peels off, sharpest knife I will guarantee you you'll ever okay. ever have. And keeping the edge, very important. <sighs> These two here are made out of your basic steel, as this is. Uh, kitchen knife that you can buy uh, in a shop. I'll show you uh, what I mean by having a sharp knife. Again, one of these will even cut cans and bottles filled with water in a, in a sharp test. One of my favorite films, get hold of it. Hunt here you'll have the uh, Tom Brown tracker. Now this is a copy, obviously for patents he writes. I made my own version. And this is my own version, FAMO's knife. Something similar to the tracker, as a cutting place up here for sawing into light timber. Uh, you've got your, uh, uh, your bone, your skinning knife and, and such, and gutting knife, and then here you can chop a little bit. This is another knife, I carry this one. Carry this under the shirt for my out prospecting or whatever. You never know, something might happen. You can quickly just pull that out from underneath your shirt without worrying about trying to get something off your hip, especially when you're carrying a metal detector and everything. Okay, highly polished. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen one. Get them sharp, cutting cans and plastic bottles in one we are sweeping motion. Now this is a 2000 grit belt, and hopefully you'll be able to see the bird that I'm talking about coming up. Uh, there it is there, I don't know if uh, can you see that. And right to the end. You can see there's a fine burr on there. So what we do now is turn the knife around. And again at the right angle. Now you can just see that popping up. Can you see that really? Right at the edge. See that how that, that white burr is coming up? This one with my finger is. I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to come in a bit closer. Now, as I press this knife down, you should be able to see the new bird come up. There we go. See that? See the little white line coming through? That's the bird. That's the bird that I'm talking about. And we need to get it so fine, working it back and forth, pressing lightly. And I'll push down again, and you should be able to see it pop up. There it goes. Right at the end. There we go. Can you see that fine white line coming up? Can you see that? There you go. See it just coming up? Nice. Right at the end. Now again, if we just get that camera over the top here, it's up. Just 
coming up as I put down on there. And once we get rid of that burr all together, this knife will be ready to start. And you can just see it fall, falling apart now. It's just breaking away. And in some cases you can actually get hold of that burr and pull it off. You just need a bit more. Example of it just there. You know, you just, uh, you just see the little fine bits of burr. We're polishing that all off. Now, I am using the green compound. We just rub that bit on the uh, polishing wheel. And that will give it a high. Normally, you only do this a couple of times if you get that right. So, we'll just do the quick paper test. I've got a bit of paper here that I've been slicing up on. You can see that angle there, really. And we're going to just put a bit of stuff like that. Show you how sharp that is. Okay, I'm just going to show you the bear, how it, how it comes up. And there you go. You can see that real shiny edge, that's the burr. So I'm going to just bring that back up. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. There you go, look at that. You, you see what I'm talking about. And here we go again. See there's that real shiny burr on the end there. the best. I polished mine up highly polished so they become like a mirror. And the reason for that, if you are stuck out in a bush, you've got nothing else and the planes are out looking for you, well the, it'll work out as a reflector. So you can see how that's reflecting light. Just as good as a mirror. When you polish them up enough, <laughs> they are a mirror. You'll be able to see yourself in there. I'm just giving that another go sharp. Now we're getting that white. Nice fur coming back and forth every time I go back and forth. So fur is nearly at the stage where I'm quite happy now. I don't know if you can see this. There is a. So I put my finger up, you might be able to just see the edges, and that's ready for me to burr off on the pole. Pound on. Now, if you see my arm. Should be able to shave those hairs. You can see I haven't even haven't even done the uh, shave test on this arm at all. So here we go. Well, that's gripping. Look at that. Just to show you how sharp that is. That's all my hair. Look at that. My version of the clean. chunker knife. Tom Brown. Have a look at this. One of my favourite knives for uh, especially carving salamis and cheeses or cutting nice scotch fillet steak. A long blade will give you a long cut and believe me, any of you guys out there that are serious about cutting nice fine prosciutto, nice finely cut salamis, get yourself a long blade that's least 
12, 14 inches long or um, 30 centimeters plus, it is a big difference because any good knife must have a good cutting edge. And as I will be showing you later, we are going to cut some can, uh, soda cans, aluminium cans, and some plastic bottles. Just shows you when you've got a good edge and a good knife, uh, what you can actually do with these. All right, we're just going to sharpen this one up now. Again, I'll just clean up the blade. Starting to get that edge up real nicely around this, this knife. That's coming along beautiful. A real good knife when you are sharpening it. Get that fine burr again going on here. Once off, you should be able to virtually peel it off. And that's when you know you've got a great sharp knife. So I'm over here to hunt pain. And here we can see, good art for you guys, where's the bird coming up. I might even just bring this over and see um, if we can see it. With that nice bird just showing on the edge there. Now I'll go back backwards. And what we're trying to do is make that go back and forth, back and forth until that bear is so weak that it's actually just going to peel off. And believe me, that is when you got a real, real sharp knife. And also, uh, gives you a bit of a mirror finish. Now, this is perfect now. Absolutely. So on that last stroke, I'm just doing real light brush. A real light brushing. And as you will see, that edge is perfect. My favourite, my slicing knife. Here we go. When you got a long blade, Look at that. Look how fine that is. Nice and thick. Let's see if we can do another thin one. Look at that. Spaghetti coils. So these are my three favourite knives. My little personal survival knife. My homemade survival knife. And my beautiful carving knife. When I want to cut salamis nice scotch fillet steaks and I want to get that nice cut you can't go past one of these okay time to do the uh, test with the water bottles so here we go